I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. We on our way. Where? To a foreign place. Yeah. Tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute, per these touring dates. Don't know the name, get familiar, these ain't foreign faces. Back at it again with my guy. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. So what, 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 what we here to talk about? Ultimate madness. Okay. That's what we here to talk about. Week one. Right. Uh, The, the first half of the bracket. Right. Man. Man, we uh uh if I have to if I have to give the event uh, overall, it's it's about an eight because mm -hmm. the expectation was not it, it was def it definitely lives up to the expectation and probably over over uh oversee oversee that you know what I'm saying like I, I I honestly believe that it it brought a different vibe because it there was no crowd. Right. It was maybe five people in that room. Okay. The the host, the co-host, the two battlers, and the cameraman. Right. That means no reactions. Minimal. Whew. Like, and then you got some, and then uh, and with that standard, um, certain certain uh, battlers who you thought was going to prevail, kind of fell short because they kind of needed that. Uh, they they they. Uh, you figured it was in their favor that it wasn't that many people. It was just going to be people that was just going to be thinking, oh, that was deep, that was thought-provoking. Right, right. Needless to say, the people who you thought won may have not won. I ain't going to lie. My bracket is ripped, okay? I, do, I threw that joint in the shredder, bro. Right, right, right. Well, all right, from what I saw, you know what I'm saying, from what I saw when I saw what I saw, mm. there were not... A lot of people who were twenty-five thousand dollar performers. You know what I'm saying? Like when you think about twenty-five grand, like that's more money than most people have seen at one time in their life. Mm -hmm. So twenty-five k, you exp like I seen people complaining about the judges' decisions and things like that. That's a job that I wouldn't want to have. I do not envy that position because they have a hard decision to make. But you know what? You your job as an MC should be to beat the person so bad that this ain't even got to be a tough decision. You should be trying to take this person's head off. Like when that when that vote comes down, it should be clear. Look, got this person. What the judges that won 106 in Park, none of them were professionals. No. Maybe an MC or a producer every now and then, but it was random people. Radio, and it was all yeah, it was all off of what mm -hmm. they saw. So your job was to go in there and kill who was in front of you. Mm -hmm. And I think that you can't worry. Like in the NBA, for instance, it's like basketball. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get the same three referees every night. Right. You know what I'm saying. You're going to get different referees. Your job is to kill who's in front of you. A three-pointer is going to go in the same way every time you're making a shot. You have to go your Your job is to kill the person in front of you to the point where a referee, a, a judge, or nobody can't question the body. You have to smoke these niggas. I wish and I think that the people who are going next week mm -hmm. got a real good pass because they got to watch and see how things went. So they kind of know the direction and what they should have to do. And the I think the strength of who you're battling meant a lot. Because you had some people get eliminated, like a real sick got eliminated. But he's better than most of the people who went on after him. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I I'm holding back. I'm 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 about to say I can I can give you my my uh my my well, point of view. Well, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say like this. Like, 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 I'm, I'm gonna just say like this. Like, when it comes you. to <laughs> when it comes to him and Jaden Nightwing, I picked Jaden Nightwing to win anyway. Mm -hmm. One reason why I picked Jaden Nightwing going into it is because Jaden Nightwing had more experience mm -hmm. and he had did more against more people. He has had slips and stumbles and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I figured the stage. And the level of talent that he had battled against, he already battled the Emerson Kennedy. Mm -hmm. He already battled a Don Marino. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He already battled a lot of that subsidiary talent mm -hmm. and level to level talent where real sick, I had seen a couple battles. I was actually just watching one with him on the track versus Funeral of Fame. Mm -hmm. And he's got battles, but the names that he had, I right. felt like that would be the determining factor. But I'm gonna let you have it, you know what I'm saying? There we go. So it's funny that you just ushered it in like that too. So, the first battle that went down was Real Sick versus Jada Nightwing. Right. Uh, that up and come up to that, um, I watched both of the face-offs. Jada Nightwing seemed so confident. 
And when I, it, 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 it definitely sparked a fire. Uh, like, like it made me feel like, okay, I don't think Jay about to play. And another thing is, I was telling y'all that Jay ain't holding back this time. And this show improved. And the reason why I say that is because everybody, there was a, whatever stigma you had for Jay the Nightwing in that battle, it wasn't there. Like, like it, it was not there. Like, he came out smoking. Not to mention he was as powerful when he talks. Not, it's like the way he raps. Now, the way that Real Sick raps, it's intricate. So, he had bars. When this battle drops, too, Real Sick, I'm telling you, bar for bar, Real Sick had punches. But it just, for some reason, it just wasn't landing like that. And and when you when you in that vibe and I and, and it's all about energy. Uh, Jada Nightwing, his energy just felt like it was on ten. Real sick, felt like he was so confident and so cocky to beat him that he didn't. I felt as though that he wasn't trying to go on ten on Jada Nightwing, right. and that is the reason why they say it wasn't a twenty five thousand dollar performance. To me, this is the first round. This is just testing the waters. I feel as though your twenty five thousand dollar performances is going to be. The killers that killed the killers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get into that too. Um, uh, with that. So that right there, starting off, that also set the bar very, very high. And the judges and the judging wise, I, I have no issue with the judges because they're just like us. We do the same thing. We watch battle rap. It ain't like it's just, uh, hey, um, you watch a couple battles. Who's your favorite battle rap? Oh, I like Arsenal. And I like uh, Loaded Lux. If you start naming those people and stuff like that, you won't consider their, their you know what I'm saying, they break. But if they start saying new names or, you know, guys that are current, they've been doing it. So the judges do their thing. So I do believe that Jaden Nightwing won the battle, and I do agree with the judges' approval. But the battle could have won any, either way. Mm -hmm. It was a good battle. Um, like I said, Real Sick got a lot of potential. Uh, he had a fire rebuttal in his mm -hmm. round. Mm -hmm. um, he he takes up a lot of space. He definitely has good movement. He has good lyrical skills. He can put together words well. And I think he'll have a pretty dope future. Uh, Jada Nightwing, he's got uh, Lou Castro coming up. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be a fire battle. Um, Jada Nightwing, I guess I, I said that in, when we were talking about this originally, like, I was waiting for those performances from Jada Nightwing to be more consistent because I said he has bars. But I always felt like I didn't know if he was like super, super, super prepared. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like he, I, I seen he's even battled on a Born Legacy. I yeah. mean, he battled Madface on Born Legacy. Mm -hmm. Jaden Nightwing has had he has, he has experience yeah. when it comes to this. He's probably got some of the most. He doesn't have the most experience, but he's up there when he's it comes there. to experience. Mm -hmm. um, Here's the thing. Bad News probably has the most experience. We'll get into that. But we'll get into that when it's time for that. But anyway. Jay, the Nightwing, had whatever performance y'all thought or you thought Jay, the Nightwing had before that, that was the best Jay, the Nightwing that I've ever seen. Uh, Emerson Kennedy was up there, though. So I don't know if I'm going to just go with best ever. The Emerson Kennedy was up there. Better. Nah, okay, we'll, we'll see. Okay, okay, okay. What'd he say? He was like, oh my God, oh my God. He was like, it was something about the ring. He's like, uh, he's, I, uh, uh, I, something about slapping niggas. Oh my God, I, wait till that shit drop. It was, it was, he had, he had, like, he was talking like king shit. Like, he was talking like, you can't stop this power. He reminded me of Verb and how, you know, he's the, the God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I've been congregated with the congregate. He's like, right. these are my people. That's what I'm saying. All right, next battle up was um, Gunpowder Pat. Versus Rubando. Mm -hmm. Now, going from the last battle that set the tone, mm -hmm. the Rubando and Gunpowder Pat was was very underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie to you. It right, was. Right, right. It just didn't seem like. Uh, uh, it, it. I understand that both of them are like you know they tight with each other, but twenty five thousand dollars was on the line. Like and that's what they and that that battle. It's kind of where a lot of people was talking about, you know, that's not $25,000 performances. Right. Because you just felt as though that um, Rubando, it, it just felt like it was a, 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 a like a, a Born Legacy or, uh, I mean, not Born Legacy, but like a Survivor Series battle. It just felt like, mm, you know, it just wasn't up to par. Right. Bars-wise, Rubando's flips was good, but, I mean, that's Gunpowder Pat. It was, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it just seemed like it was more of a run of the mill. And the judging on that one, it, it really could have went either way. Um, I think uh, in this instance, Rubando had the better pin, and that is why, and, and uh, that is why Rubando won. But Gunpowder Pat had a better performance, but he also had a couple slip ups too. So that's why Rubando won that one. Um, I think Rubando's third round was better than Gunpowder Pat's third round. Uh, first and second could be a split, but the third round was when Rubando really stepped it up and really started showing flashes of what he could do. Mm -hmm. And I think that overall, he's got to step it up because that whole left side of the bracket is wide open. Like, it's wide. Like, I mean, I've got my favorite now mm -hmm. who I think is going to take that whole side of the bracket, and we'll get into that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just felt like for Rubando, for someone who, when I was looking at the um, Let's Talk Battle Raps, um, salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. what, what, when I was looking at their voting system, he had like the second or third most votes to win this whole tournament. And to have that amount of votes mm. and to have probably one of the bottom half performances of the day, mm. that means a lot. He's going to have to step. He's going to have to step it up for 25K because... 25K is that, that performance last night is not winning 25 no. pins. No. That performance last night is not gonna be unknown. Mm -mm. Let's just be for real. Like I'm just gonna keep it all the way honest. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he was I, like with no disrespect. Not I know saying. bad rappers getting their feelings. Mm -hmm. like, I hold on. I, I know people getting their feelings and all of that, but I'm just saying that performance last night was one round that was fired, two rounds that was just okay. And he's gonna need more in order to beat. Your Honor, you know what I'm saying? Because so because Your Honor, who, who who won his battle, I'll just get into that. Uh, Your Honor versus Squeako. Uh, honestly, Squeako had a choke in his second round, but if he didn't have that choke in his second round, that battle could have went either way. You know what I'm saying? It really could have because Squeako had the best line of the whole battle. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, few good lines. he had the line where he said, um, he said, uh. He said, I ain't into your snitch ways. If the cops asked me where I was between 10 and 11, 5th fifth grade. Fifth, fifth, that, was, that was the best line of the whole battle. That was the you end. know what I'm saying? Like, that like, line right there is the only I line like that, that. I, that stuck through the I whole thing. Like that, that line right there stuck with me. Like, dang, mm -hmm. he got potential. But the fact that he choked or stumbled in the second round was the determining factor that kind of pushed the yarn his way. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like Yarn got some talent. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, but I just feel like he has to put it together a little bit better. That's just me personally. I felt like his performance was good, but it wasn't 25K. You tell me about that battle. All right, it was the it was the last battle. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it came after the best battle mm -hmm. of the night, and we'll get into that. But Your Honor versus Squeako, I mean, they had, it, it had, they had a lot to, you know, to come after. Uh, Your Honor is so entertaining. Like, like... To the point where I watched both of the face-offs. Mm -hmm. Your Honor is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he raps, that is kind of the essence of the, the older generation. Like you like like we sound, I'm I know I'm sounding dated, but you get what I'm saying? With uh the, to me, Your Honor sounds like the new Charlie Clips. Like it's base, it's bars, but the jokes is you know what happens to a squeak in my house. Same thing that happens to a squeak in any other house. So for him to ask that question, and he finished his round, and said, "You know what happens to a squeak in the uh, in, uh, in the house?" Ah, ended the round, mm -hmm. and then Squeako rapped, and then after Squeako's round, Your Honor came. Same thing that happens to every squeak in the house. Like it, the thing that Your Honor does is it's captivating. He goes, "All right, well, Squeako, he had bars, he beating you, but uh, with Your Honor, he has that likability." I think he has that's more what, charisma than probably yes, anybody in this room. Yes. Damn near anybody in this room. Yeah, and and that and that is what's actually geared towards to winning this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like the the reason why DNA won the, the big tournament is because it was main current event bars. It was all things that were relevant, quick shot to the point, and some things are funny. Mm -hmm. Your Honor has that formula, but you gotta be more prepared for that, man. Like I I you know like I, I I'm critical with certain with certain rappers that I do favor because you know you see so much potential in it. And that's why it may seem like hate. It's not really hate. I'm a huge fan. But it's like 
you know what I'm saying? It's like when 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 your favorite rapper uh, does a no show to a uh, 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 to an event, like it, your whole night is ruined because you knew it could have been better, or he was hungover or something like that. And that's how I feel about Your Honor. If if he actually hones that in, he has the potential to win in this whole thing too. Like he has that potential, but you know him versus Rubando. <sighs> And how, and how many Uranus flips is that going to be? It's going to be amazing. But as far as Squeakle is concerned, if he had to choke, you're absolutely right. I honestly think Squeakle could have won that. Yeah, because I mean, like, I liked when Squeakle came out his first round and he was doing the uh, your honor angle, how you name yourself after the people that took my nigga from mm -hmm. the net, how you, took, mm -hmm. how you name yourself after the person who wants to pay child support for all them kids, how you, like, I liked that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I definitely did like where he was going with it. And I liked his uh, his second. He had some material in there that was fire too. But it just got to a point where he like chip. Listen, let's just make it short and clear. Twenty five k is on the line. You can't choke. You can't stump. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mandatory because the battles are going to be so close that if you have any reason for them to go against you, it makes the job way way easier to do. Um, I feel like these guys are, are are all young. They still have a lot of time, a lot of potential left. But uh, uh, when you see people like these, like the people that are advancing, you look back like, damn, real sick got eliminated. Mm -hmm. And uh, his performance that he put up was better than people who were advancing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, he got, he it just better, got, he I, I, and that's no hate, but it, yeah, real sick performance was better than Rubando's and Uranus' performance. He, he just got a bad slide in the bracket. He just got a bad, he got, That's what happens when you battle, when they put you in a bracket against a killer. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which, Okay. The main event. Right. And I'm not being biased at all. Like, this battle was the battle of the night. Mm -hmm. It was a crazy back and forth. The anticipation was there. It, it really did live up to the hype. Well, the reason why it lived up to the hype, because uh, Kid Chaos was predicted by most to win the whole damn most, tournament. Me, myself. <laughs> I'm from the Bronx. Lou Castro was least predicted to win mm -hmm. the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> But what did I say though? What did I say? I said, I said the winner between Kid Chaos and Lou Castro, they're gonna win the whole thing. And let me tell you something, Lou. Okay. You now my front runner, all right? You got, you got, you got Rollick, right? Mm, right. Yeah. Look at the gun. Look at the little gun. See, look at the never BB gun. Against the Bronx, like look at I the keep BB saying, gun. Don't go against the Bronx. Like that's the one thing you don't do. You don't do, uh, but let's be let, let, let's 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 really uh, be honest here. Lou Castro was in a lose lose situation. Why? Because if he'd have lost, ah, that, that was what's supposed to happen. You supposed to lose the kid chaos. That's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? But if he were to beat him, oh, kid chaos was robbed. Kid chaos clearly was the better rapper. He had a better performance. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not jacking it. All I'm thing, only thing I'm saying is, when you back up, when you back an animal against the wall, he has only one choice, and that's to attack his way out. We put Lou Castro in that position where he had to put up or shut up, and he put up. With the pot. He said, he said, give me who you, he said y'all y'all got him winning. That's what's up. That's cool. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Yeah. That energy, all of that. All that energy, I need all that. The whole tournament, Lou. Look at me, look at me, okay? You took out the number one pick for winning this whole thing. And if you think for a second you just gonna get chipped off in the next round, oh, oh, you getting back, you gonna, the stigma's gonna be back. So that same energy that they had, you was gonna get smoked first kid chaos, whoever you got next, which is Jada Nightwing, who had another stellar performance? Look at it the same way, bro. And I and I and I honestly think I I, I after seeing that, I kind of got Lou in the next. Like I I, I really do. Like that's go with, he's going with the Bronx. It's the, hung, it's the, the hunger. It's the hunger. Don't get it twisted. The king is the consistency. So it's because Jada Nightwing was that just a flash in the pan. Same energy with Jada Nightwing. That energy, all that. I need all that for Lou Castro, cause he just took out the guy that was supposed to win. So that means you need to beat the guy that beat the guy that was supposed to win, so you can be the next guy. You, you get what I'm saying? That that battle, 
already within the next week's time, that's already set up to be the battle of that night. All right, you don't win too far. He, he losing me I don't now. care. All right, check this out. Not you next week, but the week me. after. When they All do right. the second break. So, back to this, right? Kid Chaos did great. You know what I'm saying? I see people saying that his pen was the rewind find more to find, and oh, so yeah. it's like he got people got lost in it. I don't understand. I'm I caught, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I got his bars. I thought he did well. I thought he had a good performance. I thought that, you know what I'm saying, it could have, if he would have been given the battle, I wouldn't have been mad. I felt like he did have ly lyrical ability, but the only thing that was missing was that big next stage star power. Like it was no, to me, it was missing a little bit of that star power, that Boom! It was like that. Mm, was like the the bars was there. Line for line for line for line for line for line for line. Which is the reason why a lot of guys that are good line for line for line for line for line mm -hmm. aren't in the biggest positions in battle rap. Mm -hmm. If being lyrical sold, mm -hmm. Summer Madness would have somebody like Excel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like this nigga is one of the most lyrical people this around. But the thing is that doesn't sell. Nope. You have to have a little bit of spice to it. Mm -hmm. And Luke Castro came with the spice, the whip the pot. Mm -hmm. Like all of that, the, 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 when he was bringing all of them lines, like he said, something if he survive, I come back like Vada Fly. What the fuck? That shit is crazy. Luke Castro said. Luke Castro is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like I said, what Luke mm -hmm. Castro mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. with the whip the pot mm -hmm. and then the line about me, like all of those lines that he was saying, those got power to him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the thing is, when you're living in a society of what we see now, mm -hmm. like it's it's a what I remember. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to judging battles, like you said in your tweet yesterday, people are gonna go with the person with what they remember the yes, most. You the know most what I'm saying? memorable. The most memorable performances mm -hmm. are the ones that they're gonna pick that one. Mm -hmm. Luke Castro won. I'm proud of him. I've seen Luke Castro from the beginning before he even had a PG. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of him. Mm -hmm. This is his best performance that I've ever seen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? His best performance that I've ever seen. But guess what? It just gets more difficult mm -hmm. now. Because now you face Jaden Knight when he's not going to play with you. It's just raising the ceiling. It's just raising the ceiling. But I like I like Luke Castro to come out of this side of the bracket. Yes. Yes. I like him to 100, come out. Now, yes. Now, I would, now, see, what Taz Howard said in Get Rich or Die Trying, when I'm right, when I'm right, I'm right. But when I'm wrong, I still got the chance of being right because I had to think, I had the inkling that I could have been wrong. Now, I was wrong about the battle. Yeah. But I was right, all right? Lou might win. Lou is going on that left side of that bracket. Yeah, I, I definitely can see Lou winning that. He's the most hungry. Now, I'm only going to touch this part because I really feel like when they drop that battle, we might have to do a bar for bar recap. Okay. But I'm going to just say this Kid Castro had a put your dukes up scheme. Mm -hmm. It was fire, okay? Right. I was yelling, okay? But I was upset that there was no crowd. To react to that, because mm -hmm. I just felt as though that. Oh, know, that shit was crazy! Mm -hmm. Like, he said if I'm gonna he, if kill he, you in front of you. Mm -hmm. No, no, he's yeah. like, no. It was something about if you wanted to have Lou Castro to have a fighting chance, I wanted to make sure I put his dukes up. That was crazy. Get that you, that get pen, your dukes up that, or something. That, got that pen is there. That, like, that's what I'm saying. Now, other issue that I had the first two rounds. Mm -hmm. Kid Chaos did not have it. Like, I just felt as though, like, it just wasn't there. So, that Kid, Kid, uh, Kid, Lou Castro won the first and the second round. The third round, you can debate that third round. Like, and I'm pretty sure that battle is going to be one, uh, one fine and more to fine because I, it's some Castro bars that I missed, too. Mm. But the battle tonight, hands down, uh, uh, now, the judge's decision, I, my God, I couldn't have made that decision because it, it, I, I, I couldn't have been because... I know I would have been like, no, nah, I need a second watch on that one. I need no, I don't care. I don't care. If we have to make a decision now. I need a second watch on this one. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they had to make a decision, and Lou edged it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him though, man. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I look. The uh, now with that being all said, that that bar has been set. Next week. It's the other half of the bracket. There's some other names out there, man. That, um, you know, in hindsight, you know, we, you know, when we, uh, when we was joking around, it, you know, we didn't feel like it was some heavy competition. But once again, on that bracket, they got two killers against each other too. That you know, two guys that are supposed to win the whole thing, and they going up against each other in the first round. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bad news and ace. Yeah. That's a recipe for disaster right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is. 
who has the better resume versus who has the best pen. Mm -hmm. Like we we know what's gonna we know how that's gonna end off. Um, the 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 other battles uh, that I can't think of right now for next week. Uh, it's, it's come on, it's uh, it's it's, it's, it's Don Marino versus Easy the Black Captain. Don. Fawn versus uh, Jay Kruger. Jay Kruger. And um, Brooklyn Hands versus uh, Big Hand. Big Hand. Brooklyn Brooklyn Hands. Versus Big Hand, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, now with that, fellas, y'all got a lot. Y'all got a, a very, very steep hill to climb because you know there's a stigma uh, that that you know who are who are these guys? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Show us, show us because you seen what they did. You seen what the other guys did this week. We need twenty five thousand dollar performances in the first round. But if you can't give us that twenty-five thousand dollar performance, at least give us opening night known. I mean, opening act known performance. I mean, the guys, the, show. the guys who uh, who didn't get, to, who didn't go this week, you got a whole chance to sit there and watch everything that you're gonna be in front of. Mm -hmm. You got a chance to go back and tweak your, sh you know what I'm saying? Uh, see what worked. You just got to see what worked. You got to see what didn't work. Uh, I, I, I think next week you'll get. Better performances, I think so. Oh yeah, the, think, the, definitely better performance. Better performance because they're gonna they got a whole chance to to evaluate everything, take everything in, and you know what I'm saying they could have watched whatever they wanted to watch as far as during those battles. So you kind of know how the fans are going with it. You know what I mean? So I think that uh, that's not. I don't want to be too hard on these guys. Uh, the folks who didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Your career is not over. You always got more opportunities to do bigger things. The ones who are still there. I mean. Keep, keep it going. I think Luke Castro had the performance of the week, uh, the weekend. I would give it to him. Uh, between him and Jaden Nightwing, because yeah. Jaden Nightwing, I mean, what you got? They, the shit. They got to see each other. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. Perform and that's all about who could, who could prepare, who could cook up and prepare some more heat in a week or so. You know what I'm saying? Because you got this week and you got next week. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. Ugh, uh, man, uh, and it's, uh, and once again, man, it's because I'm such a big fan. I'm so critical because I, I would, I know that stipulations. I know when, when them stakes is high like that. I know, but you're critical to the point where they think you're hating. But it's anyway, not, I'm gonna let you take it away. Is it really hating, or am I just really being a fan? They can say you a hater, B. That's fine. I just get disappointed in, in, in lack of preparation, and, and it shows, especially when it shows. Okay. But, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm still gonna talk. <laughs>